right. So uh, for updates from me, uh, I've got uh, three new food establishments that we have applications for that we I've been reviewing. So um, I don't want to say what they are right now because, you know, they're still in the early process. I don't know if they want to make any announcements. So I'll just say three new food establishments are uh, being worked on. We have uh, two new events coming up or not new, but one of them is new that I hadn't heard of before, which is Barn Fest. And then another is uh, Oktoberfest. They are coming up soon. So uh, Peter and I are working on those uh, permits. There has been an uptick in uh, uh, septic a- applications. And um, there's some outstanding work where, you know, it's getting towards the end of the year. Uh, we've issued some permits, but not everything is, at least we haven't gotten all the paperwork back um, that we need to kind of close out those jobs. So I'm trying to kind of get all that stuff squared away again uh, before the end of the year. Um, in fall, there's a, a number of trainings coming up. So we're, we're, we're done with the summer. Obviously, there's a lot less trainings going on during the summertime. Now, it's been essentially over the past like couple weeks, uh, a lot of um, training opportunities have popped up. So uh, I'll likely be going to those in the near future. I'll just make a note, which I'm sure uh, other uh, you've heard already, but um, Mike Mason is a, a new interim town administrator. So, uh, um, you know, he's, we've already had a conversation with him, uh, and I wish him the best of luck, just making sure the board um, is officially aware. Uh, the next thing is that we did, in fact, pass the new contract with the collaborative. Uh, so um, that was great. Uh, we've had some support uh, that showed up at the meeting at select board meeting uh, that from the um, uh, uh, the director of the of the health department over in Amherst. So uh, much appreciated from her, and I think it'll be it, it's certainly good for as far as I'm concerned for the people of Hadley because it brings more resources into town to make sure everything is being inspected at the rates that they need to be inspected. Uh, there has been also an uptick in housing and general complaints. Um, the general ones, I'm not hundred percent sure on, it could just be an ebb and flow, but, uh, I know the housing complaints, uh, have, uh, a bit of a spike, I think due to, uh, college students coming back, uh, new renters. And so, you know, there, uh, so, so in some cases there's some, some issues that need to be addressed. So we received a few, a few more complaints in that direction than is usual, uh, at least for, uh, you know, over the course of a year, um, so there's two other items on here that I know uh, that were kind of bigger, larger um, topics, which are uh, Craig's Doors, which who we've been trying to work with. And the last item is the body art protocols. Before I go on to those items, does anybody have any questions for me uh, on the stuff that I just went over? Just a quick one, Ben. You said that, um, you know, with the uptick in the septic, applications something about not all paperwork you know you haven't been able to get all the paperwork in to close out some of these these projects um is there a hold up with any particular type of paperwork or yeah at the very end when some when a job is done there needs to be sent out a, a document called the coc uh certificate of completion and um, some of those we haven't had, or some, some of those we haven't gotten in yet, but they probably should be because the, the, the work is li- likely done. So we have to kind of like reach out, make sure that we get those in. We have to make sure we get as built in, which is like, you know, they, they, they apply for a, a permit with a uh, proposed uh, system of drawings and documentation. But sometimes when you get in the real world, it, can, it has to be amended a bit. And so as built are kind of are, are the way for those minor adjustments to be documented that they happened. So these are all things that kind of it, 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 it might have happened, but I might have to chase somebody down to get the documentation to add to our file. And we need that in case, you know, in, in however many years, somebody needs to go in and take a look at what their septic system is. Uh, it's best to, we should have those items. And so that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, I focus a little bit more on it because it's towards the end of the year. So the the majority of the construction is is maybe not done, but there's a there's a lot of uh, the summer stuff that are wrap, is wrapping up. So I'm trying to kind of 
get that all squared away. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I'll move on to the, the other two items, which is uh, actually any other questions before I move on to those items? No. No. Okay, so uh, the next items are Craig's doors. Um, as I, I sent out an email to the board, kind of informing you a little while ago, saying that it's been difficult to get a meeting with leadership at Craig's Doors, and uh, it appeared to be getting more difficult. Um, and of course, for anybody that's not, that doesn't remember, is not aware, what, what the health department is trying to do is Craig's Doors had reached out to us saying that uh, they want uh, support of uh, tapestry here in uh, here in, in Hadley for uh, medical uh, reasons, uh, and um, a, a, but they needed the Board of Health to kind of sign off on that happening and also uh, try to um, release some funds that are specifically brought in from the state that can be used for this type of thing. Uh, so both of those, those uh, are the reasons are why they reached out to us. So I, I had been trying to work with them. So there's been some challenges, like I said, related to getting the uh, meeting on. Luckily, just uh, I mean, not too long ago, after I'd sent that email, uh, another leader at Craig's Doors reached out saying they really they, that they really want to have a meeting with me, and so we actually have a me meeting set up uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow at ten, I, I'm going to be meeting with them. So, I uh, uh, luckily it looks like uh, the the concern that maybe we wouldn't be able to get a meeting uh, is is uh, alleviated. Um, and, you know, I don't know what will happen at that meeting, but, uh, the goal is to uh, collaborate and try to see what, what, what we can do to, to help out the people of Hadley. So that's the story on that. Any questions on, on that update? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Keep us posted. That's great, Ben. All right. And then, uh, the, the last thing I have is body art protocols. Um, as you guys remember, we had, we passed the, uh, model body art regulations, which, uh, Department of Public Health uh, put together and provided to all boards of health as a model that they can pass and put into effect. Uh, we had we did that here in Hadley, and so now our body art um, uh, establishments are under that regulation. However, a part of, what ended up happening is one of those body art uh, establishments reached out and said, "Hey, we want to have apprentice apprentices." And um, unfortunately, that, that's not part of the regulations. And uh, I, we have really good body art establishments, in my opinion, here in, in Hadley. And they wanted to make sure, well, give me the rules. And, and I, we, I couldn't give them the rules based on the existing code. Um, so it's not, so I looked into it, and it is very common for um, boards of health to pass their own regulations related to. Uh, apprenticeships uh, for body art. And given that we don't have guidance from state on that, um, we have to kind of do it ourselves. We so could, what I, go ahead. Could, I know some other local boards of health, I believe do have that when I remember doing some records review back in 2018, 19. Um, so we could probably lean off of them. Yeah, so what I did on that is I reached out to our collaborative and uh, um, Northampton has one, but it's older. I mean, it's, it's, it's very old, uh, decades old at this point. Um, but I, I got theirs. And I also know that Cambridge is kind of the, the um, I say, the one that everybody, not everybody, but the, the one you hear a lot um, about in Massachusetts. And so I, I have theirs as well. Um, they kind of pioneered it a while ago. I don't know about pioneer, but they, they were one of the first and one of the ones most referenced. So I grabbed that as well. And uh, the other thing I did was I, I had reached out to a, um, a group that I wish I had it in front of me. I don't have the name of the group right now, but it's a, it's a national uh, organization that represents um, uh, body art establishments and works with uh, various state agencies uh, in the country to draft uh, new body art regulations. And I asked them for uh, what their input would be. And they pointed me towards uh, regulations that the most recent that was passed. So uh, on state level, and I, I, I included that in, in what was written. 
And then lastly, I looked at New York's, which are, is a, a neighbor of ours on the state level, which they have their own state um, body art regulation. And so I, I grabbed that as well. And so what, what you have that I sent out to you is kind of a, uh, a, a reading of all of those documents. And then I, I put together something that kind of uh, took from them and, uh, and, and, and put it into something that I think makes sense uh, here in Hadley. Uh, and I also took uh, some uh, information from our local body art establishments as to things that have worked in other communities that they've worked at uh, with with apprenticeships and concerns they had. Uh, I had a meeting with with one of them about it, try to get that feedback. Uh, and so um, all of that together is what generated the document you have in front of you, at least the rough draft. I sent it through legal to get their feedback, and we bounced around a little bit on it. And um, and what you have in front of you is what legal sent to me uh, at the very end of that whole process uh, uh, as saying that, you know, and they want it, what they want to do is it's not going to be a whole new reg, but it would be an addendum to what was originally or what was passed not too long ago related to body art. So uh, I wanted it to just send it to the board. I, you know, I don't know what you guys want to do with it as far as I didn't know if everybody got a chance to read it. I don't know what your, all of your opinions are on it, but I figured I'd get it out there. So it's at least in the water and you guys can give any feedback you want, any changes you want, anything like that. Um, uh, it would be the time to uh, discuss it. So, so that's the last uh, you know, part from me and I'll, I'll step aside and let you guys uh, see what you're going to say. So, so Ben, I, I thought you did a really great job with that. And I was pretty impressed by the number of hours that they have to apprentice. What did you mm -hmm. say? It was like 2,000 hours. Mm -hmm. um, and it seemed like a pretty thorough document. I, I don't know if we're all prepared to I'm prepared. vote on it tonight. But yeah, I am, mm -hmm. Emma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm prepared. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought you did a great job. Thanks for all the uh, references that you were able to mm -hmm. put together and also reaching out to our local body establishments to get their input as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, thanks. I mean, any anytime we can not, sometimes you have to do things because you're the first, right? But if there's, if there's people that have done it before and you can get feedback from them and, and people that have worked under those regulations, it's always uh, a leg up in trying to do it yourself so uh, you don't stub your toe too much. So uh, that that was the goal, at least. Let's try not to stub our toe. And I'm not going to say it's perfect, but I, I did the best I could. So I appreciate your um, uh, uh, your um, liking it. Let's put it that way. You did an excellent job. Yeah. Yeah. So then I think we should vote on it. I make the motion that we uh, accept the proposal uh, for uh, uh, the apprenticeships for the body art. Apprenticeship. Uh, and, yeah. and, and we accept it as is. Yeah, for, as the addendum to our current as body art regulations. All in favor? Uh, well, Aye. one. Well, I made, second. So second. And now we need well, to do a roll call vote. Favor. Yeah. I'm in favor. Okay. All three. Okay. Thank Motion you passes. No nays, no abstains. Ben, do you have anything else that you want to bring up? I think there was something at the very end that Peter had sent out. And I think it's, uh, I'll just hang out until we reach that, uh, that, that what Peter might be bringing up in a little bit. Uh, sure. But other than that, I don't have anything else on my list. We can go right to that now, so, so then you'll be done. Yeah. So, so Ben, we're we're gonna get, kind of uh, get in front of the line, if you will, with that particular topic. And the topic that uh, didn't make it onto the agenda, um, but I think it's you know we need to discuss it sooner rather than later. Um, and I know uh, you and, and Dragon have been working mm -hmm. on this um, this topic, and it and it's, it has to do with the. Uh, issues around potentially rabid animals. Mm -hmm. um, during the summer months, we've gotten at least two, if not three, phone calls uh, from people who are concerned that, oh my, my child, you know, just came in contact with an animal that may be rabid, or my dog came home with, you know, a, a dead animal in his mm -hmm. mouth, so on and so forth. Um, I'm not a clinician. You guys, you guys know more about this than I ever would. But my understanding, my very limited understanding is that when somebody identifies you know, the possibility that uh, uh, either a child or another human being or a household pet has come in contact with a potentially rabid animal, um, we get the phone call, we being the Board of Health, 
we need to do something. Mm -hmm. And the process right now, from my, again, limited viewpoint, is that we have some gaps in the process. Mm -hmm. And my concern is that when somebody calls and uh, let's say Ben's not around or you're unavailable and they're talking to me, I have no clue. I have no clue what's going on in terms of rabbit animals. Um, I don't have a process in front of me telling the caller, hey, here's what you need to do. Here's what we're going to do. Here, here are the next steps kind of thing. So number one, I, I think we need to have a written uh, procedure or process in place. I don't want to say policy, uh, but a procedure or process in place Absolutely. so that a simple person like me can kind of follow it. And, and secondly, close any gaps that mm -hmm. we have. Um, and then lastly, once we have uh, the gaps closed and we have a process in place, I think we should also put the process on our webpage. Absolutely. So that when a resident um, feels that, again, there's a possibility that their child or another human being or their household pet has come in contact with a potentially rabid animal, they're not calling the Board of Health and they're getting our voicemail. Right. Okay. The, the 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 resident needs to know, oh, here's here's the process, here's my part, here's what I need to do. And oh, by the way, because I'm getting voicemail in the Board of Health, um, here's my other option. I should contact so and so. So Ben and I have been talking about this. And again, I know Ben and, and mm -hmm. the Dragon, you guys have been actively working on mm -hmm. this stuff because yeah, you know, we've had some real life situations. So I'll tee it up that way. And uh, again, I, I don't necessarily expect that all the gaps or all the decisions will be made this evening, but I, I think we need to get going on it only because, again, my understanding is that if somebody is actually has, has been affected by a rabid animal. So that would be th th dragon, things going to happen. And, dragon and Ben work out a yep, so protocol. Ben and I um, had a meeting about it, discussion about it. Um, Two weeks ago now, Ben, um, and we yeah, both about that. established that we wanted to make standard work um, or a process that would be just very clear. Um, part of it, too, is our obligation under the state is that local boards of health um, are responsible for the um, processing of animals if they need to be processed before they're sent off to DPH, which to be appropriately done should, needs to be done under a vet. And the vets usually like to have a contract um, with municipalities if there's been previous challenges um, with that kind of stuff. So um, with the assistance of ACOM, the Animal Control Association for the state, um, we've been getting uh, kind of other contracts that we can start to look at um, to be able to, to use here. Uh, and then I know Ben and I were both gonna be reaching out to local um, vets to see if someone would be interested and, and willing to work with us. Cause we certainly want to not have um, these gaps for everybody. Is, in the is there any way that our consortium might be able to take this up? No, okay. okay. That is, I don't believe so. Okay. I, I think you're right, Dragon. Uh, first off, they don't um, they don't list as one of their services this service, and the other issue is um, uh, this is kind of a, a, a high priority, time sensitive thing. So uh, the fewer links in the chain, uh, probably the better when it comes to this type of stuff. So um, yeah, so I, I, I'd say that. And, and so part of what what I'm looking for uh, uh, in this is I, I think. The responsibility of writing the SOP um, uh, would would fall on me, but I think the the thing that I'm looking for from the board is, you know, we've had a, some. The big sticking point is, as Dragon mentioned, uh, that we don't have access to the same vet we have had access to on this, and so we need to get another uh, vet, and we need to get them lined up ASAP uh, because you know we could get the call tomorrow. And, um, and so my, my thoughts are on it are, um, uh, you know, what is the board? Cause, cause what I want to be able to do is, is, uh, say, uh, this is the board's thoughts on this, on this item. Uh, and, and so what I, what I'd like to get from, um, from the board, um, and I know dragon, you and I have been working on it, but you know, I kind of want, given the fact that this is, has to do with, we got to 
replace our vet. Um, we got to, uh, you know, I, I would like to have as much as I can um, an opinion from the full board on how we should go about getting that. Like, I would like to approach the uh, town administrator and say, this is, we need to do move this quickly. This is, it's obviously a, uh, a money uh, money is involved with it, so uh, there's a contract involved, and so I need to kind of escalate it uh, up to there. And, and I kind of want to be able to say this is the opinion of the board when I when I do. Um, so so I, that's what I'm looking for from from board members is to is to get an idea as to how uh, you know you know how you would like to direct me in that regard. Yeah, I mean the the town has to do it. We can't you can't just go knock on a vet store. So yeah, definitely. Right, so just just let you guys know, there's nothing in our budget for this, and the, the charge that we get from a veterinarian, you can imagine what that looks like. Yeah. So just so that you're aware. Well, so, I I thought we did put part of community needs as line item for that. That, that that's that's where we're going to charge. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, what we're going to but charge. yes, we've had more say occurrences this year than typically right. so when we when we yeah. do our budget for next year we'll mm -hmm. we'll budget accordingly yep. meanwhile it has to get done right so right it's not it's not a there's nothing for us really to vote on because it's not if it's, if it's uh, yeah if it's yeah. A, yeah. exactly yeah go ahead Ben. bring it to whoever it needs to get to and let's get moving forward with yeah it. and if if you need to present at the select board meeting other than the town uh, town administrator if you need you know, someone from the animal inspector part to explain kind of the nitty gritties of it. Um, I'm willing to obviously participate. And then I was hoping, looking forward to talking with you tonight um, because I was able to get those few contracts um, to be able to set up a follow-up date with you, hopefully this week to go over those. Uh, that's great. That's great news, Dragon. Thank, thank you for that. Yeah, I'm happy to do it anytime. Uh, we can speak uh, today. We can speak tomorrow. Whenever you have a, a few minutes, and uh, I'm happy to get any documentation that you've that you've gathered. Uh, basically, as much as I can. So I have the opinion from the board that we need to get this done ASAP. It's a concern of the board, uh, and uh, and I'll, I'll bring that to the town administrator so that they're aware that this isn't like a back burner type of thing. It needs to be done ASAP, and uh, funds need to be there for it. And we need to be able to, if we need legal, you know, to look at the contract and and bless it, then we need to have them on it ASAP. And and again, the reason why I, I so first off, I'm going to say that is the that is the general opinion from the board. Uh, unless any of you say otherwise, it sounds like that's what I'm hearing, and uh, and so yeah, I'll I'll do that. I'll bring that to them, and uh, hopefully we'll resolve this in the near future. Because again, if somebody was to call tomorrow, we have it, we we would have an issue. Uh, we'd be scrambling, and uh, obviously matters such as this, we don't want to be scrambling and and begging vets to to help us. We want to have it squared away, yeah. you know. So, and also, you know, Ashley Craft at MDAR and DPH, um, who's been so great with working with us, um, you know. If towns are found that they they don't make this an action item and aren't able to fix gaps in their processes to make this happen, um, towns have uh, previously been fined, had substantial fines yeah, no, from the state. It's, so it's, yeah, we don't just, have a choice. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's just know, really important. The administration needs to understand that this is mandated by the state. Yeah, we have to do it. Yeah. So. All right, we're all on the same page on it, so I'll leave it be. I, I have my, I have the direction from the board, and Dragon is is uh, great, you know, very grateful that she's gotten together uh, some contracts that I can have in hand and hopefully work with legal on, and uh, if any modification is necessary, and uh, we'll go from there. So thank you guys, I appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you, Ben. Thanks, Dragon. Thanks, thank Ben. You. Bye. All right. Have a good night, guys. Bye bye. See, see you tomorrow. Peter, do you have anything that you want to update us on? Um, just a couple of minor things in, in addition to what uh, Ben was talking about. Uh, again, food trucks for uh, some some upcoming events uh, in in Hadley. Um, the uh, along the lines of Title Five, there are a number of folks in town that are apparently choosing to potentially put their houses up for sale. Uh, and there, there are houses that were built you know, oh, 30, 30, 40 years ago. Yep. And so we go through the the archives to find the original 
per, uh, permit applications that were signed by people that mm -hmm. I didn't know. Maybe you knew who they were. But um, so there's a lot of activity in that regard as well. I mean, we, we've had people uh, actually come to the office yeah. and looking for those oh, yeah. documents with us because they're anxious to put their houses on the market. These are the septic, so, sort of like yeah. where the lines are. So, um, where the, I mean, the actual plans, the whole plan, yeah, the plan. Whole plans mm -hmm. and, and, and the permit, the, the approved permit. So there is, for whatever reason now, there's a lot of that going on because interest rates came down yesterday. I, I honestly don't know, but um, so, Pretty busy on that. Um, looking um, looking into the near term, uh, I I will be meeting with um, the folks at Permanent next month to get in front of you know drafting uh, a letter that will go out to our food establishments here in Hadley, uh, alerting them to to the fact that they need to renew for calendar year twenty twenty five. And so the game plan is to get the letter out before Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. as we did last year. I say the letter, it's actually an email. And uh, get everybody, um, you know, renewed uh, in December rather than, you know, January, February, March, mm -hmm. when they should already be renewed. So, um, and I've already talked to, again, the vendor about that. And they're, yeah, you know, wherever you want to get together, you know, we'll drop the letter together. If there's anything that you guys think of that, you want to add to the letter? I know last year we did something with the plastic, plastic bag, bag mm -hmm. single use, and whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, over the next uh, month or so, if there's anything that you guys can think of that should be added as an addendum or as a, you know, something else on that particular letter as a reminder, like, oh, by the way, remember that, you know, just let me know. And it's very easy to yeah, add yeah. to the letter. But uh, I can't think of anything myself off the top, off the top of my head. So um, the only other thing, uh, it, it's really, uh, really more an announcement than anything else is, uh, I don't know if you heard that the the uh, special town meeting has been uh, moved out. The date has been changed November, from right? October 24th to November 14th. Okay, so that's on a because. Thursday. So again, so that meeting has been moved. Because? Um, no town the, the select board uh, voted on it last night. I don't know all oh, okay. the, the rhyme or reason. But, so I just want to make sure that you guys were okay. aware of it before I forget to tell you. So um, that's it for me. Um, I, I have a question you might not sure. be able to answer because I think it's more related to Ben, but I know he was hoping to get food inspections, work with the vendor, get something, get a, get a platform online for him to use was that oh to get the uh, digital inspection form. yeah mm -hmm. uh yeah that no that okay. has that has not happened no but died of flow death yeah, but, well, yeah that has not happened i might be able to make space to help out with that okay. i make a live adobe norm that i know i've mentioned before but then we've never circled back with so you can make an adobe form that can be uploaded to our system and then used yeah like ben could use it on OneDrive and make new ones for his inspections, and then he can upload it probably to permit link. Yeah, if, that's, yeah. You, you know, if, if we had that, then it's, it's, again, I'll reach out to the permit link folks and find out, okay, how do we you know, integrate, if you will, from, you know, the app that you're talking about developing and getting it into. Well, it would just app. be an Adobe, like he could right. do the Adobe and then upload the document, like how you do, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, it's doable. Thank you, Drew. Yeah. Great. And it feels good that, like, now I kind of have the space for that, you know? Yeah. Good. <laughs> good question, though. Yeah, it's a good question. All right. All right. Uh, Marcy is not here tonight. Right. Uh, I did order the state put out notice that there are more COVID test kits, so I ordered more. Yeah. I forgot to add. Did Ben, did you guys get some in the office? Because he had ordered some. Well, we... Well, we That's the first some, batch, right? Some, like a month ago. Last week, yeah, like, and then, a couple of weeks ago, we, we received some. Oh, you and, did? Okay. And, and we, we've we handed, handed some out to, uh, you know, folks in the uh, uh -huh. in the town hall, you know, uh, the offices that are frequented by residents. And uh, the housing authority came by last Friday and they took some oh, good. from us. 
and uh, they're very grateful and uh, and so forth. So um, yeah, un but, unload but, them. But, yeah. but, but yeah. just about the same time that we got your email saying, oh. I've got more test kits coming, so yeah. so that's good. Yeah, keep uploading them, and when yeah, I get more, we are. When we get more, I'll bring them yeah, all over bring, here. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, no, they're good. They're people are taking them. They're very yes. happy to have them. Yeah, so yeah. that's great. Yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely. All right, anything else? Not for me. All right, we're going to end the meeting. Well, right. just oh, hold on. other business kind of falling back into animal inspector stuff and you getting the letters out for the food permits for next year. Similarly, like how we've done previously, I'm going to get my fall messaging together so we can start notifying the farms of like how to schedule inspections. Good. Yeah, good. yeah. that's a good idea. Thank you, Jordan. Um, We also need to schedule our next meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Before we um, adjourn. Did we previously meet on the second Thursday? Yeah. Thursday? Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. And this time we delayed it by a What's week because that was on vacation. What's the second Thursday in second, October? Uh, it's Thursday. October 10th. All right. So are we good for that? Um, my family will be. Yes, I'm okay with that. Uh, which it, the second Thursday works out better for me just because on the third Thursday, I have another obligation. Is that typically. around the, the holidays? Though? Uh, right. So the Yom Kippur is the 12th and okay. Rosh Hashanah right. is so the 10th, uh, second 10th. and third. So October 10th is fine. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Right. Okay. Golden Nidre is the 11th. Okay. Yeah. So it's the day before. All right. So October 10th, 6.30 p.m. will be the next right. meeting. I make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Yeah. Okay. All in favor. All in favor. Yeah. Aye. All right. Thank you. Meeting adjourned.